on Funny You Should Ask, John Lovitz, Jack A, Howie Mandel, Byron Allen, Whitney Cummings, Jamie Kennedy, and here's our host, John Kelly. All right, let's get this party started. Welcome, everybody, to Funny You Should Ask, the show where every single question has a funny answer. And won't you please show your appreciation one more time for this lineup of six comedy geniuses. <laughs> time now to quickly meet our two players. Everybody help me say hello to Nikki and Craig. Hi, you guys. Hey. It is time to win some money. This is how we do it on Funny Should Ask. Three rounds. I ask the comics a question, they give an answer, and you figure it out right or wrong. Every correct answer, you earn money. Whichever one of you has the most money at the end of three rounds wins this game and will go on for a shot at five grand. $5,000. By flip of a coin, Craig, you will go first. $100 every correct answer. Let's keep it going here with our in-house master thespian, John Lovitz right here, everybody. John Lovitz. Question for you. According to Match.com's annual Singles in America survey, the number one turnoff for women on a first date is what? Forgetting to wear your pants. <laughs> okay. Being late. Said being late. Craig, think he's right or wrong? I think he's right. The number one turnoff? Checking that phone. We keep looking down, uh -huh. checking that phone. Sorry about that, Craig. Nikki, you can get the $100 right here, and let's do it with television and movie star. She does it all, Jack Hay. Yeah. True or false? According to United Press International, there is a dating app where instead of headshots, you post pictures of the inside of your fridge. <laughs> oh, great. Now he really know my eggs have expired. <laughs> <laughs> True. All right, Nikki, right or wrong? I think she's right. And I think you have $100 right here. <laughs> Craig, you can tie it up right here. and Let's do it with stand-up comedian extraordinaire, Mr. Howie Mandel. <laughs> True or false? Okay. According to a recent survey in Medical Daily, 12% of people said they would rather donate a kidney to a friend than get a colonoscopy. <laughs> well, with friends like that, who needs enemas? I would say that's true. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say he's right. Correct answer? Sorry, fellas. False. That is false. <laughs> Nikki, back to you for $100. Let's go to the founder, chairman, and CEO of Entertainment Studios, Byron Allen. <laughs> hey, Byron. True or false? According to Sports Illustrated, there is a pair of conjoined twins that are actually swimming champions. Yeah, I saw them race. They tied for first. <laughs> Uh, let's pray for false. I think he's right. Correct answer? False it is. Another $100. <laughs> Nikki, two for two. Craig, you can get on the board right here and let's do it with actor, writer, and big time TV producer. That's Whitney Cummings, everybody. Thank Whitney you. Cummings. <laughs> True or false for you, Whitney? A Caucasian woman in Missouri gave birth to a black child and then blamed it on the amount of chocolate her husband eats. <laughs> I'm not a doctor, oh. but it sounds like she's the one that had too much chocolate. Uh. <laughs> yes. yes, yes. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> For the record, you can never have too much chocolate, but go ahead. <laughs> I actually think this is probably true. I think she's right. All right. Let's go for it. The correct answer, I'm very happy to say it's false. <laughs> yes, it is false. All right, Nikki, back to you for another $100. Let's go to just a hilarious cat selling out shows all across the United States of America. That's Jamie Kennedy, everybody. Uh... Jamie Kennedy. Well, Jamie. 
question, whiskey and beer combined, is popularly known as what? The reason my mom got pregnant. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a boiler maker. Okay, Nikki, right or wrong? He seems qualified, so <laughs> I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to say he's right. And I'm gonna say another $100 right here. Great call, Nikki. Yeah. A perfect three for three. That wraps up round one here on Funny Should Ask. Nikki off to a flying start. Craig, waiting to get warmed up. We got plenty of time. More Funny Should Ask coming right at you right after this break. Cannot be stopped. Craig, plenty of time to go here. But before we continue, I want to take a moment to get to know our players a little better. Craig, please go first and tell the world about you, man. Yeah, I am from Long Island, New York. <laughs> New York! <laughs> uh, and I'm out in L.A. now doing some modeling. I've been lucky enough to land a couple spots on some billboards out here oh. and also one in Hong Kong. Nice. Yeah. Worldwide. If you win some money today, what do you want to do with it? Uh, me and my sister are tight, so... She still lives back home on Long Island, so I'm going to fly her out, you know, spend a few days together. Very nice. Yeah, take care, sis. That's beautiful. All right. Great luck today. Good luck with the career, too. Thank Nikki, you. Thank you. Please take it away and let everybody know about you. Well, I'm a Southern Belle. I'm from Jackson, Mississippi. <laughs> and um, I started a charity that collects essentials and gives them to people who are displaced the homeless, and um, when I win the money, I plan to roll that back into the organization. Oh, how beautiful. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Good luck to both you players. Let's win a lot of cash. Nikki, you'll go first. Ever correct answer? $200 now. Yo, John Lovitz, question. According to digitaltrends.com, the most popular dating app of 2018 was what? Plentyofchloroform.com. <laughs> <laughs> There's a theme here and you scare me, yeah. Cupid. Cupid. Nikki, is he right or wrong, this man here in the front? Um, however lovable he is, I'm going to say <laughs> that I think that he is wrong on the this The most one. popular dating app of 2018, Tinder. No shocker, Tinder it is. <laughs> All right, nice work. Craig, your chance to get on the board. Let's do it with Jack K. Hey, Jack K. True or false, please? There's a male strip show in Las Vegas that provides child care for your children while you go watch the dancers. Hey, kids, play with the babysitter while mama spends your college money. <laughs> <laughs> True. I've been to Vegas and I have not seen anything like that. So I'm going to say that she's wrong. The correct answer? Please pay the man $200. Absolutely right. <laughs> Nikki, for $200, we go to Howie Mandel. Hey, Howie, true or false? The Holy Roman Empire was the very first civilization to have a small claims court. So if you or someone you know has been injured in a chariot accident, call <laughs> us at Titus, <laughs> Augustus, and Mike. Hilarious. I would think that's true. They were really ahead of the time with plumbing, I would imagine, with court, taxes, all that. Yes, true. I'm going to say that he's right. Correct answer? Perfect streak stays alive. That is true. All right, Craig, she's not going to take it easy on you. A chance for you to get $200. Hey, Byron Allen, true. Or false. Okay. A woman named Mary Toft was able to convince doctors she'd birthed rabbits by putting them inside her and then pushing them out. Worst magic act ever. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go with true. I think he's right. Yes, indeed. It is sad, wacky, and true. Yes. You haven't missed yet. Let's keep this hot streak going, Nikki. Hey, Whitney. Yeah. True or false? According to the New York Times, babies don't have dreams. Which explains why they lack ambition. <laughs> 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 uh, 
<laughs> I, that guy. Yeah, I think this sounds right. This sounds true. Nikki, right or wrong? Do you have children? What do you think? <laughs> I'm gonna say that she's wrong. All right, Nikki, the correct answer, that is in fact false. Keeping that hot streak alive. Oh, good. Good job, though. Smart, smart. Craig, for $200, go back to JK, Jamie Kennedy. Hey, man, true or false? Over in New Zealand, men often greet each other by pressing their noses and foreheads together while looking into each other's eyes. Yeah, but it gets really awkward at the urinal. False. I think he's right. The right answer? I'm sorry, it's true. Oh. Very intimate right there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up round two. Nikki refusing to miss, keeping the heat on the Craig. You got plenty of time, man. The big, important round three coming up right after this break here on Funny You Should Ask. Want to keep laughing? Download the free Funny You Should Ask game app today. Oh, yes, love this energy. Welcome back, everybody, to Funny You Should Ask. Crunch time, round three. It all comes down to this. Nikki. A perfect six for six so far, keeping the heat on Craig. I'll remind you, whichever one of you has the most money at the end of this round, wins the game and goes on for a shot at $5,000. That's what we want to give away today. Every correct answer in this round, $300. So, Craig, plenty of time for you. Let's get it going right here with John Lovitz. True or false, John? Yes. There's a company in Oregon that specializes in making exact replica love dolls of your girlfriend. Oh, great. Now I'll have two of them rejecting me. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. True. I think he's wrong. The right answer? $300. That is false. Yes, Craig. <laughs> Staying in the game, man. I'm hanging in. Jack Hang K., she hasn't missed yet on fire. Hey, true or false? When applying for a job here in California, it is illegal for an employer to ask your specific age. Look, look, age is just a number that I constantly lie about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that has got to be true. Don't ask me how old I am. True. Um, I think that she is right. And your hot streak stays alive. Indeed it is. <laughs> All right, Craig, let's get you $300 with Howie. Hey, uh, true or false, brother? The company, My One, offers a perfect fit line of condoms in 60 different sizes. Well, th that's true. It's just awkward when you go in for a fitting. Because... <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's too many, so I think that's false. There's too... Uh, 60. Like, where do you draw that number? So I'm saying that's false. I think he's right. The right answer? This is true. It is, in fact, true. You gotta be kidding All right, Nikki, back to you for some more money. Byron Allen here to get you paid. Byron, yeah. true or false? In 2018, a 12-year-old boy began building a nuclear fusion reactor in his playroom. Yeah, and when his mom told him to clean up, he had a meltdown. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is, uh, this is true. Nikki? Byron is right. Correct answer? I think the hot streak survives. True it is! <laughs> Craig, let's get that $300 right now. Whitney Cummings, true or false? A Taco Bell customer in Chicago found a $10,000 ring in her chalupa. Well, I'm sure her gynecologist is gonna want it back at some point. <laughs> 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 I think this is insane enough to be true. I think she's right. The right answer, that is false. It is false. <laughs> that bell signifies we are out of time with $1,500. What a show. Nikki, you are a champion on Funny You Should Ask. Great game. Craig, did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, Great to have you. Good luck with everything. Thank Give it up one more time for Craig here. Back to you, young lady. That money, you keep that cash. When we come back, we go for the big money. We're talking $5,000. We will do that with Nikki. Perfect Nikki on Funny Should Ask after the break.
If you'd like to be a contestant on Funny You Should Ask, go to funnyyoushouldask.tv and make it happen. Let's keep this party going for Nikki here. Welcome back, everybody, to Funny You Should Ask. $1,500. She has been perfect today, pitching a perfect game. It can get even more perfect today. If you get through this round, we'll add $5,000 to your pocket, meaning potentially you take home $6,500. I like the sound of that. Yeah, me too. Me too. I love it. Let's keep that going. Here's how we do it this round. Three questions, all three multiple choice. You get all three correct, we will give you that extra $5,000. Nikki, question one for the big money. According to Parenting Magazine, one of the best baby gifts you can give is what? A diaper bag. A kitten. A hot nanny. <laughs> um, diaper bag sounds safe. I think a diaper bag. Going with a diaper bag. Question one for the $5,000, the correct answer, diaper bag it is. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Refusing to miss, and I like that. Question two for the big money, Nikki. We'd like to know which of the following always comes from an object Vibrating. Waves of gravity. Waves of light. Waves of sound. Waves of pleasure. <laughs> I think we all prayed for that last one, but um, <laughs> science and music classes telling me to go with waves of sound. All right, the right answer number two for the $5,000, waves of sound it is. <laughs> yes! Two down, one to go for the $5,000. Final question for the five grand. In the 1950s, the CIA started experimenting with mind control through a program called what? Blank slate. Brain train. White wash. MK Ultra. Gray matter. Marriage. <laughs> Whitewash sounds, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and X that one now. And then <laughs> blank slate doesn't sound like it stands for much of anything. Uh, brain train. Let's, um, you know what? MK Ultra. MK Ultra. MK Ultra. You're feeling MK Ultra. All right. The final <laughs> correct answer we were looking for for the $5,000. MK Woo! Ultra. Yeah. Yes. That is beautiful. Congratulations. You did not miss a single question today. That's what I'm talking about. $6,500. Comics appreciate every single one of you. How about this one? Everybody at home, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, here at Funny Should Ask, keep on smiling. This has been a production of Entertainment Studios.